This thing is huge. It's here. It is the first of its kind in North America. This is the Fractal Design Define XL. So this is, as you may or may not be able to guess, an extra large version of the Define, which is on its third revision. So you can buy a Define R3 or a Define XL. So let's go through the bullet points on the front really quick here. Obviously you can read them if you so desire, but here's one of the big highlights. Boom, 10 internal three and a half inch hard drives. That's huge, that's awesome. You've got noise absorbing material, just like the Define R3, thermal chamber design, we've come to expect their mod vent technology, which I'll show you when we open up the case, as well as an optimal airflow cooling system. So two front, so included you have 140, 140 millimeter fan, uh, one top 180 millimeter fan and one rear 140 millimeter fan. You can check out what you can get that is not included to add to the case. Over here on the other side, we see all of these supported motherboard sizes, which is pretty much everything, although you'd have to be on something pretty good to put a mini ITX board in a case this size. It would be like this big. <laughs> so don't do that. And uh, I'm gonna just open up the box and we will continue this shortly. Now, the reason I chose this one out of all the ones in our warehouse to unbox is that it wasn't labeled with a color. So I figured if we unbox it, then we'll also find out what color it is. It comes in two colors, black and titanium gray. It also comes with a user's manual, which is pretty basic, but if you've installed a PC in a case before, you should be able to figure it out reasonably well. So there's the packing material. It's a cardboard reinforced with, uh, well, not really reinforced, it's styrofoam, reinforced with cardboard for some puncture resistance as well as some rigidity. And the cardboard's pretty good. You've got like a dual wall uh, cardboard thing going on here. All right, so let's get the case out of its plastic sheath and find out what we've got going on in here. This is a very large case. They weren't kidding when they called it the XL because it's not gum, but it's really big. So here we go. So we'll use me for scale next to it here. So you can see a person is quite small compared to the Define XL. We pull off the front and we can see that this is the titanium gray version of the Define XL. So the black one would be a little bit darker, it would uh, be more like the finish on the rest of the case, although you would still have that brushed look to the front of it. Just like the R3, we've got most of our business stuff up at the very top of the case. That means you've got your microphone and headphones, eSATA, four USB 2.0 ports, as well as your power switch. Once you open up the door, you will find some noise isolating as well as, uh, I assume, dust trapping. No, it couldn't be because I'm going to go through there. No, the intakes are here. So some noise isolating foam. You've got four five and a quarter inch bays, which come off quite easily, as you can see. All you do is remove the little tab, and then you can also put them back in, should you so desire. Just pull it out like that. That's kind of neat, actually. And then, oh, behind this one, look at that. You've got room to mount a... 120 millimeter fan. So because most people only install one five and a quarter inch device, that makes a lot of sense. So you can put up to three 100 and these look like 140 and then this looks like a 120. Three fans in the front. You can see the one has been included and I think that pretty much does it for the front. So the intakes, as I mentioned, see you've got dust filters right over the fans. The intakes are actually all along the side. So when you've, when you've closed the front of the case, that's where those fans are gonna get their airflow from. All right, let's take, uh, actually here, we'll look at the back while we take off the thumb screws here. Uh, nope, nope, we'll look at the side first, wait. Ah, Modivent, I promised I'd talk about this. This is a Modivent, you see how you can't see through it? Well, that's why it's Modivent, because right now they've got a piece of their noise isolating material screwed in. So you just remove that, you mount a 140 millimeter or a 120 millimeter fan there and boom. Now you've got airflow instead of noise isolation. So that's what makes it Modu. Let's go ahead and pull off the side panel here. I hope I can figure out how the mechanism works for the side panel on camera because sometimes I have trouble with those. Okay, there we go. It came off. Well, there's our noise dampening stuff. It's quite a bit thicker than what I've seen on the Define R2, although I haven't seen an R3 in person. But uh, there you go. That's how you remove it. So let's go ahead and put that away. The, wow, the panels are quite, quite heavy. They are steel panels and they do have the, uh, the noise dampening material on them. You can see they're quite sturdy. 
And we better take a break, I got a phone call. And here we are on the inside of the case. So the first thing we're going to notice is our accessories. So this is giving us a little inventory here of everything that's included. I guess that's why that information was not in the manual. We've also got a fan controller, a five and a quarter to three and a half inch bezel in case you want to install a floppy drive or a media card reader as well as some cable ties. Very nice. Thank you, Fractal. And then what else do we have in here? Here's all of our front panel connectors, which should be pretty much run of the mill, I think, because we saw everything that was at the front. Oh, this is nice. So look, uh, all of the, uh, the switches are individually sleeved, just like that. So they're all gonna be nice and black inside your case. You won't be able to see them against the black interior. We've got HD audio as well as AC97, two USB as well as our eSATA plug. So that's all taken care of. And then here is the nicely sleeved, look at that high quality sleeving. You can't see the color of the wires at all behind it. So you've got your nicely sleeved three pin connector for your front fan. Here are the 10 three and a half inch drive base. So these come on little sleds. You can install a three and a half inch or a two and a half inch device on here quite easily. So this case is entirely SSD ready. You can install 10 SSDs out of the box. The other six are down here. Now, as a water cooling enthusiast, the first thing I think when I look down here is actually that it probably wouldn't be that hard to remove the rivets from these bottom cages and mount a radiator down there. So that would be an interesting project. For a power supply, we've got four little rubber mounts. So any power supply, whether you've got bottom cooling, top cooling, however you want to mount it, will be able to get adequate airflow. Although what I would recommend is mounting it with the fan on the bottom so that it can pull air up its own dedicated cool air through the dust filter here, which can be pulled out to clean, just like that. And uh, yeah, so it can sit on the noise isolating rubber mounts. And what else do we have inside? So here, this is, what, what is this? This is interesting. We've got another ModuVent here, although I'm not 100% sure what it's for. Huh. Okay, well you can take out this square piece and that gives you full unrestricted access to the power supply. There goes my other side panel, which I had unscrewed helpfully for myself, just in case I wanted to take it off for you guys. And then most of the cables are actually going to go up through here. So we've got a little rubber grommet. You can see the quality of the silicone they're using here is very high. So you're not gonna be putting things through it and then pulling them out and have it stay in place. Nope, you're gonna be able to mush these around and they'll go right back where they belong. And then you can, uh, yeah, so most of the cables will go up that way. Where they're gonna come out is a whole other ball of wax. So we'll look at that when we get around to the other side of the case. Here's that 180 millimeter fan that's gonna be cooling your MOSFETs as well as drawing any hot air away from your CPU socket area. Speaking of the CPU socket, you have a removable cover so that you can access the back of the motherboard and install aftermarket CPU coolers without taking the motherboard out. Here's another 140 millimeter fan here in the back, just like the one in the front. We've got seven expansion slots, so that means you're gonna fit Standard ATX, micro ATX, extended ATX, but none of those weird XL ATX type things. We've got one extra PCI slot here, just in case you've got a cold cathode kit or a fan controller or something that you want to dedicate a PCI slot in the back to, but you don't want to take up room to install things on your motherboard. Just go ahead and mount that right there. Here's all of our rubber grommets all along the side and up along the top. So we can do SATA, we can do uh, power, we can do 24 pin, we can do 8 pin, and that's all going to come up in a nice convenient location along there. So our 5 and a quarter inch is all fairly straightforward here. We can actually, oh yeah, there's the 5 and a quarter inch to 3 and a half inch adapter is actually mounted in there by default. So you could just remove that or you could leave it in and you could install the uh, adapter for the front panel that they include in the accessory box. Did we look at the back of the case yet? I don't think we looked at the back of the case yet. So there's the fan, there's some venting, there's some more venting along the side panel. There's two holes for water cooling, although those are pretty small. You'd probably only be able to get about 3 8 inch tubing through there. Uh, the power supply mount is right here. And then you got some more venting there. So fairly straightforward, very clean. Uh, that's what Fractal's becoming known for, is the designs are just clean. Everything has a purpose. And there you go. There's how you access the CPU socket. Look at that, it stays on too. So you can just put that back up there. It's got a little thumb screw. No problem. 
Now you do have adequate room behind the motherboard tray to route cables. That's been one of my biggest complaints about some of the cases I've seen that have you know, little holes to, to, to route cables, but they actually don't have enough space back here to do it. So the side panel is way out here, which means you've got like a good inch of space behind that motherboard tray to route 24 pin ATX connectors or whatever it is that you need to route behind the motherboard. Now there's the reset switch, there's that front 140 millimeter fan. I think that pretty much covers everything I wanted to say about the Define XL. Paint finish, actually, on the parts that are not the front looks quite adequate. It's going to be quite fingerprint resistant. It's not the best I've ever seen, but the value of this case for the features that it comes with is just outstanding. You get the black interior, actually, I'm pretty impressed so far. I haven't seen this one in person yet, I'd only seen it in photos and uh, it looks really good. It looks like they've got another winner on their hands. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Define XL from Fractal Design, and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.